ده حديث التميم الداري فينطلق اليه ملك الموت في اقره صوره راى احد من الناس قط ده the angel of death goes to this dying man in the most awful of forms which anybody has ever seen له 12 عين يا فضاي معه سفود من نار كثير الشوق it brings with it the angel of death brings with him a forked iron rod made out of fire ومعه 500 من الملائكة 500 angels black of faith and these angels do not bring the sweet smelling bouquet of flowers as they did with the believer معهم نحاس وجمر من جمر جهنم ومعهم سيات من نار they bring with them copper embers of the fire of hell and they bring whips made out of fire this is how the angel of death and his army come to this dying person when Sayyidina Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala an the hadith reported by Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma ask the angel of death to show me the form that you assume at the time of taking out the good soul and at the time of taking out the bad soul he first asked أرني كيف تقبض روح المؤمن show me the form that you assume at the time of taking out a good soul the angel of death told Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam إصرف وجهك عني turn your face away the angel of death changed its form when Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam looked at the angel of death he saw a very handsome young man beautiful of faith his face has no white clothes and with a beautiful smell. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam said to the angel of death, كَيْ لَوْ لَمْ يَلْقَ الْمُؤْمِنْ مِنَ الصُّرُورِ شَيْئًا سِوَى وَجْهِكْ لَكَفَى That if a believer is deprived of every blessings, every ni'mah, every pleasure at the time of his death, just you coming in this beautiful and very handsome form is an adequate compensation. Then Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam said, أَرِنِي كَيْفَ تَقْبِضَ رُوحَ الْكَافِرِ Show me how the form that you come when you take the soul of a kafir, of a non-believer. The angel of death said, O Ibrahim, لا تطيقوا ذلك. You will not be able to bear to see me in this form. أَرِنِي Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam insisted. The angel of death said, yet again, إِسْرِفْ وَجْحَكَ عَنْ Turn your face away for a short while. And the angel of death, death changed its form. What does Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam see? He sees a man, black of faith. Rijlahu fil ard wa ra'suhu fil sama. His feet are on dunya and his head is in the heaven. With the most awful of smells coming from him. Fire leaping from his nose and coming out of his mouth. His body hair are like men. His hair covered with his body covered with hair and his hair are like men each with fire coming out of his ears and come out of his nose and his mouth his body hair are like men his hair covered with his body covered with hair and his hair are like men each with fire coming out of his ears and come out of his nose and his mouth when Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam saw the angel of death in this form he could not bear it and Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam fainted when he came round the angel of death had changed its form and he said to the angel of death, لو لم يلقى الكافر سوى نظرة إلى شخصك لكفى That if, if a kafir, if there is no punishment for a kafir at the time of his death, O oh angel of death, just your coming in this form is sufficient to cause his death. The great Imam Imam Al-Qurtubi in his work says, التذكرة في أهوال الموت والآخرة right? كأن ملك الموت تفزع منه الملائكة أشد من فز أحدكم من السبب that I have been informed that all the angels fear the angel of death more than, you, more than one of you fears a lion fear the beast the angel of death comes to him in this form fire coming out of his nose fire coming out of his mouth black of faith with a forked iron rod in his hand made out of fire accompanied by 500 angels black of faith with embers of fire, copper, and whips of fire. And when they come to this dying person, 
Did you not greet him as salamu alayka ya wali Allah as was the case with the believer? The angel of death strikes him with his forked iron rod. He gives him such a beating that it pierces his body and the forks enter every vein and every joint. And then the angel of death begins to twist it and turn it whilst it's inside his body. Just imagine a prickly thorn inside your body from your head to your feet. And the thorns inside your veins and inside your joints. In every vein, every joint, there are thorns. And then somebody comes and begins to turn and twist this inside your body. How much pain will one feel at that time? It is indescribable. The angel of death will turn this forked iron rod inside his body so he feels pain. And then he will begin to take out his soul. Beginning from his toes and he will stop it at his feet. فَيَذْكُرْ عَدُوَ اللَّهِ إِنَّ ذَلِكَ سَكَّرَ And the body will swoon. And the angels that have come with him وَطَضْرِبُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَجْهَهُ وَدُبَرَهُ بِتِلْكَ السَّيَابِ The angels that have come with him will begin to beat him with the whips of fire that they have brought with him. Then the angel of death will begin to take out the soul from the ankles and stop at his knees. The body will swoon وَتَضْرِبُ الْمَلَائِكَ وَجْهَهُ وَدُبَرَهُ بِتِلْكَ السَّيَابِ And the angels will beat him. And then he will take it out from his knees to his waist. The body will swoon and the angels will beat him. Then from his waist to his chest, the body will swoon and the angels will beat him. And he will keep on stopping it at every joint so that the body feels more pain. Then they will place the embers of fire on the copper under his neck. And the angel of death will say, أُخْرُجِي أَيَّتُهَا النَّفْسَ اللَّعِينَ الْمَلْعُونَ إِلَىٰ صَمُومٍ وَحَمِيمٍ وَظِلٍ مِّنْ يَحْمُومٍ لَا بَارِبٍ وَلَا كَئِينٍ O cursed soul, come out to the fire of hell. Come out to a place where there is scorching wind, scalding water, and shadow of black smoke, which is no cool, no refreshing. 